In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use your phone as webcam in OBS. We're gonna be using an application called Video Ninja. This is gonna be super, super useful, especially if you don't have a camera or you have a camera and you wanna add your phone as a second angle for your production. So let's not take much time, let's get right into it. What's going on guys? My name is Sam, you're watching our production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So the first thing you need to do, obviously you wanna make sure you have a fresh copy of OBS or whatever you're using right now. And the next thing you need to have, obviously is a phone with a camera. Now this does work with an Android phone or a iPhone or iOS phone. The first thing we need to do is you're gonna go to your phone and open Safari or Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using but I believe Safari and Google Chrome works best. Right now I have mine open and what you need to do is you're gonna go ahead and type in video that ninja okay so that's the platform we're gonna be using the first screen that's going to show up is gonna look like this and then what we need to do for us we need to as you can see you have multiple options but for us we need to go with the second option which is add your camera to obs so we're gonna go ahead and actually click to that and it's gonna ask us to allow the application to access our camera once you allow it it's gonna look like this and you're gonna go ahead and actually go through the settings as you can see you're gonna choose your video sources if you want to use your front camera or your back camera you have all that again i'm gonna leave it to the front camera if you want to use your microphone that's built into your iphone your phone you're gonna go ahead and actually choose that if you just want to send the video you can actually choose no audio other than that everything else can stay on default and then once you're done and you're happy with the image you can go ahead and click start Sometimes you may get this kind of blank screen. All you can do, you can just go ahead and actually refresh and you should be able to get a signal. As you can see, just flipped my camera. So when you hit the camera, the refresh thing, you just kind of flip the camera. So I can go ahead and actually flip it back to myself. So it's gonna go through all the cameras I have available on your iPhone, your phone. And then boom, we are back to the front facing camera. So what you need to do is you're gonna go ahead on the top here and click to that link and that's the link that you need to send to OBS to, to be able to bring in that image. So another thing is, as you can see now, this is in vertical mode. However, I like to use it this way just to set up everything. But once you're done, of course, you don't need to be using vertical mode. You can use actually horizontal, no problem. All you gotta do is just rotate your phone and you should be good to go. So make sure you get the link and we're gonna go to obs right now i have my camera already connected and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go ahead and actually hide my camera another thing is you want to make sure you have of course your camera or your phone has to be connected to internet it could be connected to the same network as your computer that's gonna be super super easier but even if you were not connected actually to the same network you can still get the signal however if you're on the same network it's actually gonna be super super easier because in terms of latency lags and stuff like that that's gonna be super super helpful if it's actually on the same network so we're gonna go to this scene that i've created called camera and then we're gonna go ahead and actually hit the plus sign here and then we're gonna go add a new browser source and then we're gonna call it you can name it let's say video or cell phone whatever you can name it do whatever you want and i'm gonna go ahead and actually click ok and then the link that we just copied what you need to do is you can actually whatsapp it to yourself so you can use whatsapp or email to yourself or text it to yourself whatever you want for me i'm just gonna go ahead and actually send it via whatsapp once you're done is you can actually go back to your camera no problem and once you're done you're gonna go to whatsapp browser whatever whatsapp desktop or if you email it to yourself still be the same thing you're gonna go ahead and actually bring that link that you sent to yourself and then copy it and paste it into obs you want to make sure to change the dimensions so for the width you want to make sure we use 1920 and the height you want to make sure you use 10 ad and then you want to make sure you check control audio via obs and then you want to make sure you uh, use custom frame rate and then you can actually leave it at 30 frames per second and everything else you can actually leave it the way it is and just hit okay as you can see as soon as i hit okay i have a signal no problem coming in obs so as you can see if i want to show do a 360 
tour of my studio i can still switch cameras i can show you my studio right now what's going on perfect and then i can come back to my other camera here and you can keep switching cameras on your phone but again if you want to use this as an extra angle or as a main camera you can see that it's actually working this is going to depend on your network remember this is going to be sending the video via networks so you want to make sure you have a good connection and as you can see the delay is super super minimal so if i compare it to my other camera that's actually coming in as you can see here just to show you guys if we have the latency and everything so you can see that the latency is really really not bad compared to the other camera if you look at the screen on obs right now you can see that it's really really low latency now if you want to use the audio coming from the phone as you can see the audio is right there but if you want to use an external microphone you can go ahead and actually add a microphone like the one that i'm using inside obs and you're gonna be able to sync that audio to the video no problem but remember we are using wireless so everything is happening wireless and wireless sometimes is not reliable that's why if you want this signal to be super super strong never never have to deal with any lags or drop frames especially if you're using this as your main angle i would recommend you connect your phone using something like this which is an adapter that will allow you to connect your phone to an ethernet cable and that's going to give you a wired connection between your computer and your phone and that's going to guarantee a super super strong connection and to do that you want to make sure you check out my next video where i'm going to show you step by step how to actually do exactly what we just did but this is going to be wired using an ethernet cable so make sure you check out that video it's going to be linked right here and i will see you there guys take care